All right, we're here in the Niner locker room, T.Y. Uh, how's it going? How's it, I mean, I, I think it's going well. I'm watching you out there, and you're playing with a great motor. You're playing with a lot of, a lot of fire. How, how, do you, how do you grade yourself? Um, I, I, think, I think it's going well. Um, definitely still catching up to the defense, man. It's a lot that I'm still working on. My attack track, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being able to get off and still play with the hands, still get to the ball. So it's definitely a lot that I'm still still working on. Um, but like you know, Chris says, like you know, as long as you do it right, you know, this defense, uh, it, it, it'll pay you back. So uh, I'm just still working on that for sure. Give me your thoughts on the, the whole group of tackles, because I mean, I'm watching Kalia out there earlier. I thought he he's looking fast. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of speed. Give me your thoughts Bro, on him. He's a young guy, but he's I fast. mean, I, like. Him, K KD looks great, bro. Just yeah. coming off that injury for a guy that hasn't played in a year and a half, like that's impressive. You know what I mean? Just to yeah. come back and be able to just jump in and keep going. Then we got like Big Mike. Big Mike's coming in from Houston. He's getting off the ball. Like, yeah. like guys come here and and, and understand the system and it, and it pays off. Like Chris is a great coach, man. He's he put he put he puts a lot of pressure on us, but it's good pressure. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, the, the standard is a standard here, and and I respect it for sure. It seems like every guy in that room has got a great motor. I think Kerry's got a crazy motor. I think your motor is going all the time. Is that? But it seems like every guy who comes into that room is playing hard, playing right, fast. Right. It's almost like Chris is saying to you guys, play as hard as you can for as many plays as you can, and then we'll get somebody else in there. Right. I mean, what's the philosophy on the rotation? Again, team? going back is just the standard, dog. Yeah. Like you can't come in here and not fit it you yeah. know like he Chris tells us that he's like look the guy that he bring in he tells us that in front of everybody like you're here for a reason because I believe in you and I believe in what you have so that's why we're here and then like I say the standard is standard but I mean playing fast is just easy here man uh, and that's that's part of my thing like I you know I'm gonna draft the guy so effort has always been a part of my game and it's just something that has stuck with me like playing with effort is easy you've been here for a number of weeks now you practicing against against your guys' offense. What do you think of Brock in practice? And obviously, he's he's played really, really well in a short amount of time. But th are you surprised by that? Because you play him every day in practice. I'm not surprised at all. Um, number two on that board over there says no complaining, no excuses. Nothing bad has happened. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, guys just step in and play ball, dog. Hey, like, that's what I've noticed here. Mm -hmm. Like we came in, Kyle said we're in pass today. Nobody was like. You know, right? We just went out there and attacked it, man, and that's just the standard here. Yeah. Big dinner. You guys go out and, and, and had a good time. Did you go? Did, how was it? What'd you order? Oh yeah, I definitely went. Um, mm -hmm. I had I got the tomahawk steak, man. One some, or two? Some, no, I got one. I got one tomahawk steak. I had uh, some uh, lobster mac and cheese with a couple pieces of broccoli. Mm -hmm. You know, a nice little glass of wine. There you uh, go. It, was, it was ideal. It was good. Who's the biggest eater in the room? Who's, who's who can put it away, man? Uh Spence. I think Spence really? might be the biggest eater. <laughs> Spence can put it away. Scoring multiple, multiple yeah. steaks. No, I mean just eating everything. Like eating everything that he ordered, he ate. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I had to take some of my stuff home. Yeah, a good but night yeah. though. Fun oh, night. Oh, great night, man. It was a great night. Yeah. Great What's night. it like to you know? You obviously guys, you're battling with these guys. You're practicing with them, but then you get out, go out, and share a meal and get a chance to chop it up and talk a little bit and, you know, get to know some of the guys. Probably, I mean, that's, that's always that's cool, about. man. Just like breaking bread. And it's not like, we don't necessarily have to go out to do that. You know, like yeah. we kind of do that here. Like we always kind of eat lunch together. Like anytime we're on break, we in huddle up, just chopping it up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. Commanders, talk to me about the commanders. I mean, I'm looking at that running back they got, the Alabama kid is just a horse, man. He's going like seven yards a carry. Right. He runs upright, but he runs hard. Right. Uh, what do you see when you watch them on film? I mean, that, that offense is that offense is a high power offense. They want they want to run the ball and like that's what they do well. And like everybody knowing in this league, it's not, you know, you don't hide anything. What you do well is what you do. Right. And they run the ball well. Eight runs the ball well, Gibson runs the ball well. And I actually spent the you know, I spent the a uh, few weeks actually in um, in Washington uh, last year, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean those guys practice hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like they go, they come to work every day, practice hard, and it's not a, it's it's not an unexpected thing that they run the ball the way they do. Right. Where'd you grow up? What part of the country are you from? Oh, I'm from Justin, Georgia. I'm an East Coast guy. Are you a Falcons fan growing up? Or? I was a Jacksonville Jaguar fan actually, because okay. where I'm at in Georgia, I'm closer to Florida right. and to the Jacksonville Jaguars than I am to the Falcons. Nice. So nice. I always go to those games growing up. Uh, 
My dad would take me to a couple of those games, and it was it was it was cool. Okay, you guys. Part of being a football player is you got to play sometimes on the holidays. Sometimes Thanksgiving. In this case, you guys are playing on Christmas Eve. What what, what are you gonna do after the game? You got, you got uh, Christmas hol- Christmas plans. You're I do, on the road, man. Right? My family just actually got in town today, nice. so yeah, my little girls and my wife and uh, the in-laws. So. We're just gonna be hanging out, man. Do a little yeah. Christmas with them. Are, are you Absolutely. guys Christmas Eve people or Christmas morning people as far as gifts? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's it's, it's kind of different in my household, like because my wife is Jewish, so mm-hmm. you know, Hanukkah is being right. celebrated the entire month. as long right as long as you know, still give the girls presents and stuff yeah. like that because I celebrate Christmas. So you know, it's it's a fun thing though. It's is a there a thing. gift that you can remember as a little guy? getting that was that fired you up as a little, absolutely as a little guy. so my dad bought me a go-kart nice and that was probably like electric go-kart as soon as you actually it was gas okay i'm from the country so we right. get down right right so right. my dad bought me a go-kart bro and i i actually fractured my arm on that thing but i used to how old how old were you uh eight nine. Oh, that must be yeah. incredible oh my gosh it was I, I like fracture my arm and walking back to the house, and my dad's like, "What's what's going on? What's going on?" I'm like, I flipped it. I'm cra- I fractured my arm. He's just like, "Well, get in the car." We went to the hospital, cast yeah. me up, back on it. <laughs> what would it mean to you to to see this group go to the Super Bowl this year? And do you, do you let yourself think about that, or do you just block that out? And it's about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, keep it one day at a time. Man, I, I've thought about that. Um, I mean. And that'd be amazing, but the only thing that I'm focused on right now is coming to work yeah. and working with these guys. Like, man, I'm I'm still trying to earn the respect of the locker room, earn the respect of the coaches, of the whole organization, sure. just because you know I haven't been here. So I got to be studying, I got to be locked in, focusing, and doing what I got to do. And then hopefully, you know, my little pebble dropped into the bucket to help us get there. So what's just working, man. what's the strength of your game? You think? Because I, I love. From somebody who's scouted before, I love watching your motor, but I also love watching your anchor. You, you, they don't they don't move you in the run game. Right. But what do you look at when you watch yourself? What's, what are you good at? What do you need to work on? So, obviously, built-in leverage, right? I'm, yeah. all, I'm, I'm six foot, so I'm standing under a lot of these guards already. And just being able to get out the ball and attack helps me be able to knock guys back, you know, and... I mean, I just think that's it. My leverage and like my pad level mm-hmm. and my explosiveness, like that, just ties yeah, I in. I think also the reps. I mean, yeah. How many years you been in the league? Uh, eight years. Yeah. So yeah. How, how much how much smarter of a football player are you today than the guy that came out of college? Oh, way smarter, yeah. without a doubt. And the yeah. game is just slower too. Yeah. You know, when I came out of college, everything was just so fast. Even when I got into college from high school, mm-hmm. so fast. After those first two years, it just slows down. Right. So now it's not even as fast, and now you can think, you know, as opposed to just getting out there, lining up and playing. Like I can think now, I can get out, I can see down the distance. You know what I'm saying? I can see where the back, where the back is. You know what I mean? I can look at the offensive lineman's eyes and see if maybe he's going inside. Maybe, you know what I mean? So right. like those are the things that you can play with as you get older and as you learn. Last one for you. Brock's getting a lot of headlines right now because he's playing. Um, but I look around this locker room, there's a lot of good young football players oh, yeah. who haven't played. Kalia's oh, yeah. one, Marcelino's one, A. Martin's one. There's, I mean, almost every group in this team, there's some good young players in this room. You've been practicing against these guys. Give me a, give me a young player in this that maybe the fans don't know, but you've seen and think, man, that guy's got a nice feature in the NFL in this locker room. Is there, some, is there a player that stands out to you in here? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple, man, but just like along the front line, uh, the two that come into mind are uh, Nick and Poe. Yeah. And like those Scalable. guys, man, those guys, like, they looks are unbelievable. Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's not like I'm just going out there, like, like the D line just doesn't win reps. Right. Like, we don't just beat those guys. Like, we have to really work to beat those guys. And like, those two guys are definitely holding yeah. down inside. I agree for sure. with you, man. Future, star- yeah. future NFL starters, probably. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Um, Give me one thing you love about the Bay, and then we'll let you go, man. What's one thing you, man, obviously, everybody has talked about the weather, but give me something that you, you've been here for a few months now. What's one thing you love about the Bay Area right now? Um, it's I, different. It's a lot different. I haven't really got out, but in terms of food-wise, mm-hmm. I would say the ramen. Nice. I like the ramen. Yeah. I like ramen a lot. And, like, when I come here, like, it's really good. What do you want in it? 
Uh, I like the chicken mm. with the uh, with the spinach, with the boiled egg, yeah. and I like I like the thick noodles. Yeah, you probably put a few of those yeah, away. Yeah, huh? nah, no doubt. Yeah. I, I like those. I usually eat them every Friday. So, do you, do you ever get in your head about the ordering chicken but also having the egg in there? Oh, Always? absolutely not. Like sometimes though, I feel you because like yeah. they have like these chicken sides too, yeah. and I'm like, damn, this is a lot of chicken. Like, and I got like this yeah. poached egg in here too, so it is kind of funny though. I do kind like, of. I'm down to eat one generation at a yeah, time. Yeah, nah, <laughs> for real though. It's just a whole bunch of chicken on there. Ty, thanks for your time, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. Yes, thank Ty you. Ty McGill. Appreciate it, man.